Hey guys, what's going on? So, it's the first video of the new year. I do apologize for the delay, but anyhow, I'm here at Corona Del Mar Pacific View Cemetery, and January 24th is my birthday. I turned 40, happy birthday to me. But on January 26, 2024, would be the four year anniversary of the tragic passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi Bryant, along with the pastors on a helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. Join me on this reflective stroll through Pacific View Memorial Park in Corona Del Mar. Now, let's take you back four years ago to a significant moment in my life that involves Kobe Bryant. And so, remember. Because on January 24, 2020, I just turned 36. It was my birthday. I'm like, yay, happy birthday to me. Another year of life. Awesome. So, so um, that Sunday, January 26, 2020, I go to work it was Sunday morning and it was foggy that day. I was like, whoa, it's pretty foggy. Can't really see much that day. I remember that day. Um, so, and at the time, we weren't allowed to have our smartphones on the floor at work against the rules and all, so I'm like, okay, no big deal. And so at about 10 a.m., I get uh, one of my coworkers just having to um, say, hey, did you hear about the news? I'm like, what news? Uh, Kobe Ryan just passed away in a, in, a, in a crash. I'm like, no way. And I was like, like this this can't be. I thought at first it was just, you know, <laughs> somebody made up a strip on, you know, Somebody just made up this, this story up, you know, and I was like, man, this can't be true. So, anyhow, I get off work and I turn the TV on, and yes, it's all over the news. Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi passed away in a helicopter crash with passengers on board. I'm like, oh dear, this is, this is something. And remember, the sports world is, it hit pretty hard. The NBA world hit pretty hard. Uh, NHL hit pretty hard, and even for me personally as a fan, this hit really hard. And so I was like, man, this sucks. You know, Kobe was such a young young man, and her daughter was just, you know, loved playing basketball from watching uh, the videos on YouTube. I'm like, man, this really sucks, and it also sucks too that, you know, the passengers on board on the, uh, on the helicopter too. I'm like, man, it makes me even more sadder, you know? I was like, man. So, um, let's see. I know a few weeks went by, and then I think it was either TMZ or one of the other news outlets that Kobe Bryant's funeral was held at the church he went to in Newport Beach, City of Angels, I think it was, um, and Newport, not too far from the cemetery. So, I know their service was held there, but the funeral was held at um, Pacific View Memorial Park. I'm like, okay, cool. So I said to myself, if I get the opportunity, I'll definitely go down there and obviously pay our respects. But as weeks go by, um, turns out that Kobe Bryant and her and his daughter Gigi Bryant were um, laid to rest in an armor grave. I'm like, huh, that seems kind of strange. But he is he was a celebrity, so I figured we don't want him we don't want people knowing where he's laid to rest because probably you will get one of those few uh, grave robbers so probably want to steal stuff and honestly draws attention to that grave I'm like okay maybe you know keep, keep it safe but um as the years goes by I start thinking to myself um what if he isn't there I said to myself how, how so dude I'm like what if he was just you know cremated and his ashes were given to Vanessa so I'm, I'm gonna guess that uh, Vanessa has Kobe and Gigi Bryant's um ashes and she has them safe you know close to her heart because you know they lost their lives almost four years ago. So I mean, okay, I'm like, man, that kind of makes sense. And so when I went to uh, the cemetery there, it's pretty huge. I mean, it's hidden, it's well hidden in a shopping center and in a neighborhood. The cemetery was like, if you, <laughs> so if you, if you drive there, you'll pass a shopping center and you'll see houses. And when you get into the cemetery, you'll see a bunch of houses surrounding the cemetery. I'm like, oh man, there's a lot of house there. I'm like, that's one thing I noticed, but no, no, I'm like, me being me, I just started, you know, looking around, you know, enjoying the view. And I'm like, I said to myself, is Kobe later to rest here? I'm like, I don't think he is here, dude. I'm like, I get the feeling that he isn't here. And if he was, I mean, 
um, it'll be pretty easy to find them too because it's not that huge at all too. I mean, there's a hill and then there's like the, it's like two parts. There's a hill and then the, the lawns and, you know, the, the, the entrance gate or whatever. And so I'm like, it'd be kind of, you know, easy to find if you just know where you're looking. But me personally, again, I don't think these are just, uh, you know, be safe and also, but, um, so anyhow, this is more research online, and so so in doing my research for this video, um, I was looking through the passengers aboard the hel helicopter crash involving Chloe Bryant. Most of them don't have any burial information, and that information has not been released. But I did find one, and so with that being said, let's go out to Rose Hill Cemetery in Whittier, California. We're going to find mother Sarah Allen and daughter Peyton Catherine Chester.